what up what up what up everybody happy saturday happy saturday happy saturday happy saturday what's going on demi bill how are you how are you how are you oh she says she'll be listening in the bushes i know she's working but i hope everyone is doing well on this good old saturday i hope everyone is doing well y'all know the spiel make sure you hit that like button as you come on up in the room also, please, please, please make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed. And bang that notification bell so that you don't miss anything that we have coming up here on the channel. Listen, y'all might as well go ahead and join Patreon as well. It is just $3.75 to join Patreon. The great thing about it is I will be dropping a video in Patreon um, in about you know a few so make sure that you keep your notifications on for patreon so that you know when that is going to be dropping okay all right well listen y'all again happy saturday make sure you get your goalies all right stay up on top of your health i got some great things really coming um you guys this way i'll go ahead and tell patreon members a little bit of what's going on okay I am definitely going to tell Patreon members a little bit of what's going on, okay? All right, so let's get into this because I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want to hold you too long. We got some things to talk about, okay? We have some show enough things to talk about. All right, so the first thing I want to get into, child. <laughs> I want to get into... Latasha Scott, baby. Latasha, Latasha, Latasha Scott. Let's get into Latasha, baby. All right. So as you guys can see, <laughs> Sean says, he captions this video as, I went to church looking for a word and it said I got Latasha, Latasha singing, who can I run to? Now, listen, we have heard, um, we have heard see this is how you know <laughs> there are some gospel heads right we've heard like people like ricky dillard redo um redo who can i run to okay we have literally heard it before right but check this out y'all check this out it's it's the track for me and the fact that the background singers don't really know it's the fact that why did you do this, girl? Because you could have sung one of your songs on your own album. Look at this, y'all. Like, for real, Tasha. For real. For real, 
you you acting like you on the stage with escape singing this child don't it she already acting like she is on the stage <laughs> with escape who can i run to wow child well, the people had went down and thought that they were going to be delivered and they had to figure out who was it that they were going to run to. Yes, that is Latasha with the with the R&B hip hop runs in 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 <laughs> Latasha, girl. I mean, you should be out here really heavily promoting your album like we we haven't heard you promote your album since the show went off, which is what make people really honestly think that you use the show to help promote your album at a particular time because you ain't out here doing nothing. You out here, when you had the opportunity to sing a Latasha Scott written song or whoever writing them over them, um, you took the opportunity to sing an escape song? Is it, did you want to run back to, to, to escape? I don't know what it is, but anyway, girl, you could have left that where it was at. You did not have to do that. Okay. Um, but <laughs> anywho, child, that is what Latasha Scott <laughs> is, um, is doing out here in these streets, y'all. Okay. So anywho. Uh, I'm, 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 okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Oh, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Made the shade room, okay? But the man over there in Huntsville made the shade room. Um, as being the shade room zaddies and the people's is zooming in on martel and they are noticing that there is a ring on martel's finger okay so this is the picture um they are filming i guess their cash trip in houston texas and child they got a picture of maurice they got a picture of mara so they got a picture of uh, Chris Fletcher and um, Mara Tell, Marty Mar. Okay. So Marty Mar is allegedly supposed to, he got some ring on his finger. Now, I don't, I ain't want to, you know, I ain't want to do it, but what is this? What is this? What is this? Somebody please tell me what this is. Somebody please tell me what this is. What is this? Martel titties can't breathe. Uh, Marso, he you can definitely tell him he got an extra large spank or whatever holding them, holding all that in. Um. Chris, I don't know what you're giving. You is kind of giving the, the the drunk uncle at the cookout. And then Maurice, your titties hanging low too, sir. I don't know. <laughs> y'all, please make sure y'all hit that like button as y'all come on in here. Please, but I'm trying to figure out what a Zeddy's at because I don't see no Zeddy. What Zeddy where? <laughs> now he giving Cedric the entertainer tease. And then you see Carlos in the comments talking about Kings of Reality TV. Now, sir, stop. Please 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 stop. These people have only been on our TV screens for what four or five years, and we have had people like Greg. Le Le Sir, please stop. <sighs> Anywho, child, I thought y'all might wanted to see that and see if y'all got a zaddy vibe from it. <laughs> 
All right, Bishop Whitehead did. Okay, I'm going to edit the live that Bishop Whitehead did. However, I wanted to talk about him really quick and what he has going on. Okay, so let's get into it. So yesterday, y'all know we reported um, Bishop Whitehead had a lot of homophobic things to say on the internet about Armand Wiggins. All right. So we know that Armand Wiggins is uh, one who has over 154,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I feel like the bishop was looking for some clout, okay? He was definitely chasing and chasing the clout, okay? Um, and so this is what he decided to post on the uh, Instagram yesterday. And it's giving bullying vibes, but let's get into it. So we know that, and, and I stand corrected because yesterday I said that Armand probably didn't speak on him, but I found out that Sukiana brought him up in the interview that she did with Armand. And when she brought him up, um, that's when uh, he responded that Whitehead was a fraud, okay? So... Here's the text message between the two. So Armand, um, I mean, he, the bishop texts, texts Armand and says, you say anything out your mouth uh, that's in inaccurate, I hope your money is right because you will hear from my lawyer. You've been warned. And so we see Armand's response. And then he goes on to say, you're a weird ass cloud chasing uh, F effing clown. You try to go live and beef with me. You're not worth it. I'm not giving you anything online. I might be a sissy, but you are definitely a P, you know, U-S-S-Y, of putting your hand on women. Effing loser. Clout chaser. So then he responds with, let's meet up with the same energy, sissy. We don't have to text, brother. Let's talk face to face. Like, sir, you honestly think that this man is going to pull up on you and you calling him all kind of sissies and stuff like this? Like, I don't understand this. We have pure facts, and I will make sure I go ahead and post the pure facts of articles calling you a fraud because of what you were convicted of. Okay, sir? So I'm not really understanding why your energy is where it is with these people. But, sir, by the way, the system has not updated. And by the looks of it, it still looks like the lawsuit with Ms. Tarsha Jones is still dismissed. His um, caption under this was, help, I'm being attacked by a sissy. This dude can't be for real. Oop, this girl can't be for real at Armand's, at Armand Wiggins show, Negro. Uh, trust me, you don't want none of Bishop Whitehead's smoke. Keep my name out your map. Oops, I forgot. I was talking to Pauls. And people are in the comments literally asking him, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Like, you're supposed to be a bishop and a man of God, and you really want people to follow you after you in the comments calling people sis. Season and stuff like that, like stop, bro. And and the fact that you honestly believe in your mind that can't nobody talk about you, but you can get up here and do stuff like this is is really weird to me. Witchcraft has its moment. It's 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 really weird to me. And just so that we are absolutely aware, okay. Um, when you guys see this live video, he he absolutely addresses some things in this live video. I don't have the full video, but I do have a uh, partial of the video and we are going to get into that here shortly. However, I wanted to make sure you guys saw this for your own, uh, with your own eyes so that you can see that this is just, it ain't it. Okay. It's not it. All right. I don't know what in the world this man got going on, but child, whatever. All right. All right. So listen, None of us, none, none of us, none of us are, are, are perfect. So I don't give you. The Bible says in, I believe it's 1 Samuel 26. I don't know. Don't, don't quote me. 
But the Bible says David had the opportunity to kill Saul Because Saul was trying to kill him And he saw Saul sleeping And, 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 and David homeboy said Yo, we got him God gave it to him Gave us to him Let me kill him for you And David said Who am I? Who am I? To touch this anointed man of God that's what he said. He said, who am I? I know he's trying to kill me. I know Saul living foul. He said, but who am I to touch God's anointed? He said, and will not have to feel the wrath of God. Boy, I tell y'all, man, everybody that have Bishop Whitehead name in their mouth, y'all got to deal with God. I'm telling y'all. So, I'm telling you, boy. Ooh, woo. I'm telling you, it's gonna be too hot to handle and too cold to hold, boy. Well, he was, he, I felt he was a scammer. Well, guess what? I'm God's chosen vessel, right? So I'm not yours, I'm God. So you can't put your mouth on me. So, you know, let me tell you something. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, man, you cannot put your name on a prophet, boy. Woo, woo. So, Lil Wiggy. Little Armand, that's how you say his name? Ar Armand, little Wiggy. I know you got your little platform, but don't mess with the bishop. I'm talking about clout chasing. Nobody, I, I didn't know you. I didn't know who you was. I literally, I said, yo, who is this guy? So how am I clout chasing? <laughs> You're nobody. <laughs> These guys is crazy. But anyway, y'all. So. Everybody's not anointed Or everybody don't follow their calling it Said, touch not my anointed And do my prophet no harm Everybody's not a prophet Miss Mimi Matthews Don't get blocked Alright Just just come on this page Hating man go get a life Anyway y'all let me, let me go Cause y'all know I'm in my bag Right now and listen to my, my worship music. And um, let's see. And go on with my day. Because y'all, y'all, y'all take me somewhere else. And I ain't trying to go there. But I love the Lord. Make sure y'all join me Sunday, man, 10 a.m. Yeah. Be on preaching. Get right to it. Play one worship song. Get right to it. God, we are gonna get right to it. I'm talking to God about. I'm talking to God about um, what He want me to preach. He gave me a, a nice, a nice setup. So I'm looking into it. I'm looking into it. Yes, I am. I'm looking into it. I'm looking into it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, I love you guys with the love of Jesus. And y'all stay focused, man. Stay firm, man. Trust God, man. And use me as an example, man, of never give up and never back down, man. I don't care who you are. Because these, these people out here will... Christianize you to death Smack you in your face and say well you're a Christian Turn the other cheek ha! That's what they're doing to us and, 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 and at the end of the day They try to they try to religiousize us man You know what I mean Like we, we can't fight back and we can't talk back We can't we oh, oh we cannot wear designer clothes And we definitely can't drive in, in, in nice cars Oh my goodness you're a Christian Why are you doing that for 
why are you showing off? Like they put us in a prison. Like we just gotta walk around with rags on and let everybody else live their best life. But yet we serve the omnipotent God, the sovereign God. Like we serve the, the one that created everything and we supposed to look crazy. When the Bible says the wealth of the wicked is 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 is, is um is um held up for the just, like are, are you are you kidding me? And y'all want to Christianize me? Oh, he's a bishop. Why you want to know why? Because he said something to me. That's why. That's why. Next. Oh, you're not supposed to talk. Where does it say it in the Bible? God will fight our battles. Yep, God will fight our battles by giving me by giving me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's how I ain't saying I'm going out there And I'm going to hurt this person Hurt that person Nah, just keep that same energy And I hope you feel froggy Go ahead and jump Go ahead and jump That's going to be the next thing Bishop Whitehead Crushed the frog Well, who's the frog? He felt froggy He jumped That's it You know yeah, But they want to put Christians in a box, man We can't do nothing Nothing. We just gotta be. Uh, 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 we gotta walk around with holy grails over our over our head. What happened? Now, ain't nothing happened. Yeah. So, what happened now? See how crazy Ain't nothing happen Ain't nothing happen At all But at the end of the day Y'all see a preacher Being risen up Right I ain't with the mess But y'all not gonna mess with me That's it Everybody can say What they wanna say about me And I just gotta Just be quiet right Yeah Mm-hmm. Y'all wait on that Now certainly There's a lot of things Being said about me I don't say everything To everybody But But um uh, got time for it. So listen, y'all. I'm out. Love y'all so much. See y'all Sunday at 10 a.m. I might come back live again just to say what's up to y'all. Y'all know I tap in, tap out. We got some great things coming. Great, great things coming. God is doing his work. Well, God has already done his work. We just got to be in position to receive it. So I'm excited. I'm pushing forward, with y'all. And I just want to say this, y'all. I'm going to close out on this. For all these witches and warlocks that are doing your thing in the background against Bishop Whitehead, I see you. And I see what you're doing. But I want you to understand. I want you to understand that, um, Whatever you're trying to do Right Will only work for a season Right It may look like you're winning But you gotta understand That you can't win Because God has already gave me the victory So yeah Witchcraft has its moments But it can never have the victory and y'all might think you're in front of me and you might think that I'm but it could never have the victory. And y'all think you're in front of me. Nah, I done ran past you about four or five times. So I just wanted to say that, man. Like, it's cool. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. But just understand that it won't work. God got me. God has a bigger plan. So all this stuff, man, every man, yeah, man, wait till my book come out and then y'all be able to see all the stuff that's been happening. And y'all gonna see what's connected to witchcraft. And I'm not afraid of that, y'all. I'm not afraid of none of that. You wanna know why? Because none of that is bigger than God. All it is is noise. That's it. And it don't pump no fear in me. And you can't kill me. That part. That part 
And when it's my time to go, I'm going in the bosom of God. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. I'm going to be with my Lord and Savior. And that's it. No worries, no nothing. But it ain't going to be by you and your witchcraft. You kidding me? Oh, spooky self. So, and just know that vengeance is the Lord. Just know that. So, oh man. So that's what I wanted to just tell y'all. Y'all better not be afraid of these these little witches and warlocks. Oh my goodness. They they do this, they do that. Don't be afraid, man. I'm telling you, man, because they're not bigger than God, man. I'm telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? They're not bigger than God. Now, whatever you do, you do. You know what I'm saying? But just leave, leave me and my peoples alone. But you are not bigger than God. That stuff is real, y'all. I'm telling y'all. That stuff is real. But you can't say witchcraft is, is real and God ain't. Ha! <laughs> it just don't make sense. You cannot say witchcraft is real and witchcraft works. And you can't not say that God's uh, praying to Jesus Christ doesn't work. That's the oxymoron. So by me telling you that, you have to understand that just like you know your stuff worked for a season, just know my Jesus work. In season, out of season, all the time. He don't take no days off, y'all. So for all you witches and warlocks that know your stuff penetrates people, right? Just know my Jesus works too. Just know the Holy Spirit works too. Just know Psalms 91 where the Bible says that my um that God has given angels charge over me that my foot will not dash against a stone. Just know that, y'all. Just just, just you, it, listen, you gotta keep that same energy all across the board. So if you believe your witchcraft work, just believe my prayers work too. That's it. Yeah, you gotta keep that same energy. Who's stronger? The devil or God? <laughs> you better think twice. But go after somebody that don't trust Jesus. That's why the Bible, um, um, the Bible is destroying altar. I'm, I'm gonna go and get on out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Y'all tell Lil Wiggy from down the block, Lil Armand Wiggins, leave the bishop alone. You don't want no smoke. I told him, let's meet up and talk. Whatever energy you have, let's keep keep that same energy. That's it. Let's talk like men. But then I said, then I had to correct myself and say. Ah, I don't know who he think he is. I don't know if he think he's a man or a woman. So I don't know. But y'all yeah, know how that go. Love y'all so much. And um, y'all stay focused. Y'all stay firm. Trust Jesus, y'all. Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. Come on, y'all. Put that there. Say, trust Jesus. We ain't no punks. At all And we're not no suckers Okay We're not I can still pray I can still prophesy God has given me the ability To lay hands And heal the sick All of that But I'm not no punk I'm not no sissy I'm not You ain't gonna be able to say What you wanna say to the bishop Alright y'all So Y'all go ahead and be encouraged And um Love y'all with the love of Jesus Stay focused Stay firm I might come on tonight and Do a little midnight worship thing You know Trust Jesus y'all Trust Jesus 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 I couldn't look at y'all um, Your comments Because I was driving But I'm sure they were entertaining <laughs> I'm sure they were entertaining on my way, y'all. On my way, on my way, on my way. Right, let me see what y'all talking about real quick because I'm stopping out of light. Come on, y'all put up trust Jesus.
All right, y'all. Love y'all. Next thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about Candace Diller Bassett, all right, from the Real Housewives of Potomac. So yesterday, you guys know that we saw the brawl that took place between um, the friend of, which is with Kiana, and then, um, of course, uh, 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 Deborah, Deborah, whatever that girl name is, okay? So we saw that. Here's my thing, and this is really all I have to say in regards to that, because I've already given commentary on that. But I want the people to stop blaming Candace for this because we can clearly see in that video that Deborah, Deborah, the ugly, the Sesame Street character, threw something at Candace, and Candace picked up that bottle in response. Listen, we don't condone any type of violence, right? But in that moment, I feel like Candace wasn't the one that was in the actual brawl. Like, y'all are adding her. Y'all are going extremely too far on social media by saying, oh, well, Candace probably brought Chris up to uh, Deborah DeBoer. Really? Like, how do we automatically assume that that's how that happened? It could have happened the opposite way around. I really feel like y'all have a really big hate towards Candace. Candace is not my favorite person. She's not my favorite housewife um, at all, right? And nor do I agree with, um, I just don't agree with y'all blaming her for everything. Like, it seems like everything that goes on down in Potomac, y'all want to blame her. She wasn't the one that was in the brawl. And the person that y'all really should be focused on should be Ashley. Why was Ashley focused on what Candace was getting ready to do after her friend was the one who threw the drink in Candace's face or over on Candace, period, right? Your focus should have been on your friend, not on Candace. And see, that's my issue with Ashley. Ashley is always focused on the wrong thing. And you wanted to make it look as if you were trying to fix the situation. But girl, Again, your focus should have been on the prize and not over here on what it was on, okay? And that should have been on what was currently going on at the time, all right? So I wanted to bring that to you guys, bring you these few hot topics, child, because the people down here are doing the absolute most, all right? Make sure you hit that like button on your way out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? Patreon members, just be on the lookout this evening. There will be something dropping for you all very, very, very soon, okay? So make sure you stay tuned and take a peek, okay? Um, And with that being said, you all, please make sure you stay hydrated out here in the streets, okay? If you all would like to show love to the channel, please, again, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to show some monetary love, on the channel, you are more than welcome to. It is going to be scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Please remember that the channel is not monetized as of right now. So any blessings that you send over goes back into the channel. All right. With that being said, you guys have a great rest of your evening. I wanted to drop in and just have a little chit chat with you guys in regards to what is in the news. Do y'all I want y'all to drop down in the comment section. Do y'all think that Martell may have gotten uh, married to the uh, to the cold slop or to the uh, sloppy slop? Is that do y'all think that that is possible? Do you think that he married Shiba Sheen? Do you think he's engaged to Shiba Sheen or something like that? I don't see that actually happening, but I would really like to know your comments down in the comment section below remember to keep it cute um and with that being said y'all have a great saturday and i will see you guys in the next video in the next video and listen if it is trashy arian um i don't know i don't know who it could be it could be arian and it could be the fact that um, Martell has told her to be quiet 
Or do y'all think he just wearing that ring just to be wearing that ring on that finger to start up a conversation to deflect from what is actually really going on with the whole revenge P plot um, against Ariane and Ariane getting on live? Because that's what I see. I actually see that it's a it's it's a deflection from what is actually currently really going on. I don't believe that he's really actually married or anything of that sort. I honestly believe it is um a deflection mechanism to start uh, to to get people to stop talking about what's currently going on with them okay anyway y'all i will see you all in the next video show some love and peace out and blessings